Hello and welcome to Bags again. Um, there's a lot of people been doing uh, reviews and videos of uh, loose leaf um, ghillie suits and such like. Um, here's one that I recently bought. It's the Deer Hunter. Uh, plenty of room in this one. It's um, 3XL. Scrub at top of your clothes loosely. And it does it very nicely. Um, there are lots of little mini features on on this. Um, lots of bits of velcro all over the place. For, um, for instance, keeping your veil back from your face a bit. There's a little peak in the front of this, like a peak cap uh, built into it. And lots of bits of string where you can actually tie it and pull it into your face. Um, even though these are a mesh and this is one of the lightest that I've, I've, I've uh, actually felt up today. Um, so light, manoeuvrable, no noise. But if it starts to get too warm, then obviously all this here can be pinned back. Unlike some, there's a zipper in the front of the chest. Obviously, you can take down the hood. The front here is a nice big pocket huge pocket um, as well as being a nice little uh, game pocket for when you're actually um, hunting this is where the entire suit folds into pants and jacket all fold into that pocket there this is a lovely lightweight thing but the, the, the uh, best thing about it is I got it in a sale it was reduced from I think it was £75.95 to Forty-five. Um, the company having the sale at the moment, it's tr it's just skipped skips me. Ed, you obviously get the full full suit. Um, I will put a link at, at the bottom of the video so that you can look it up and see what sale items are on. I also got these um, uh, bipod shooting sticks. I got mine in green. You can get them in camo. They are extendable, like hiking sticks. In fact, they can be separated and used as hiking sticks if you take the big screw in the middle. Obviously, I don't want to do that, but um, they're nice and sturdy. Uh, I'm not going to undo these because I'm sure you have an idea of what shooting sticks are about. One of the guys got the camo version, and you know, he was very chuffed with those. It's just a matter of turning the rod. You don't turn the plastic bits, you turn the rod, and then slide it out and this will go up to over six foot so if you really need to get the extreme angles shooting upwards you can do uh, always remember when you're using these not to put them straight in the ground not to put them behind you put them in a slight angle forward so that the sticks are leading into you when you put your gun on you're not going to get that rocking motion yeah so just a little tip there that uh, I've noticed when other users are using these, they seem to um, struggle. They have it wrong nine times eight of ten. Uh, I'm not talking about Mabel Matador today. Um, I'm going to talk about this little item, this little beauty, Scan, the British-made bulb up. It's uh, Scan stopped selling these last year and they was up to the Mark IV which is this version and um, they, they, they go like gold dust when they're uh, advertised it's not so often you see them come up but when they do they're not advertised long and I was very lucky with this and um, the seller was amazing all the way through um, even to phoning me up and, and talking to me on, on the phone about it and guiding me through it. Uh, it came with the Leapers um, 3 to 9 by 32 scope called the Bug. Absolutely amazing scopes, as I think I've already said once in the other video. It has a 32 shot capacitor on the magazine here, two rows of pellets, and that is loaded by pressing a button 
at the front here where my thumb is and then pulling the handle back that is now cocked and loaded and I'm just going to fire that off into the bushes over there and you heard it fired uh, nice little bottle on the back with uh, the butt holder um, 120 shots from this um, or so it says I haven't had a chance to test it yet it's got a BS uh, silencer which is held on with um, a little grub screw underneath um, I think I might be able to make that quieter than it is but that's a different story it also looks as if it's still got the space at the front some of the earlier ones would accept a, a laser in, in the hole in the front and that looks like it might do I might toy around with that, I don't know uh, the entire gun, as I've already said once, is, is steel except for this and this, which I thought was composite, but it's actually more like an heavy duty rubber, same as the uh, the butt here. It shoulders really well. I mean, that is superb, card made from let's see. But yeah, this scope here, um, if you've not tried the bug and you're looking for a short, lightweight scope, try it. This will, will give you um, good, clear field of view. Good clear image, easy out to 50 metres or more. Um, I think if it weren't for me having to wear glasses, I'd be shooting 60 or 70 metres off this tiny scope. Uh, it's milled out reticle. It lights up like all the others do with your little red and green bits on the side. Um, but anyway, we're not here to talk about the scope, but it's a brilliant scope to go with it. And, uh, and mounts. Um, like I said, the magazine there, if I can get in close enough. It's a bit hard in, in here because there's not so much light, but if that's showing, you'll just about be able to see some little holes. The, that slips over a drum. The pellets are put in from the inside and pushed through to the outside. And you use a little probe, or I was using a little Allen key, just to see them in properly. Um, you don't cock and fire the gun with the bottle up. If you do, there's a little probe inside there with seals on that will fire out. Um, I learned the hard way by, by not reading the instructions as well as I should have done. I mean, said that, the instructions that came with it were photocopied badly, bits of paper. So that could have been done properly, but as it's no longer in production, I suppose it's a moot point, really. Um, there is a safety catch on it. Once it's cut, that can be pushed into place. Um, like I said, it's uh, you press that you press that little button there, shoulder it. That gives you momentum. There, you see that moving. I'll just come forward again, so we can get this in front of the camera. Right now, watch as my right hand comes back, pulling the other back, and that's cocked. Fire, cock, fire, cock, fire, like that pretty close to being semi-auto in the speed that it can fire. It can fire faster than a uh, bolt action can. Um, obviously I'm not going to push it to that but it's nice to know that you have the quick backup um, follow-up shot. Uh, I haven't chronoed this yet because I've only just got it but they seem to shoot around 11, 11 and a half foot pounds um, but I will have to have this chronoed for the club because that's uh, that's a real. So anyway, um, was the egg gun matador? I wasn't going to talk about the egg gun matador, but size-wise, comparable size, yes. Weight-wise, um, I'd say it's a similar weight, but then the matador's got that huge scope on and a torch on the front, and this isn't. This is, uh, I would say, this is because it's mostly ste steel or aircraft grade aluminium in some parts that's still weighty so for the people who who said who've said oh, i don't want to bump up because there's not enough weight in it I like the weight that um, a rifle carries um, this has got it it's got shoulder ability maneuverability and quicker access it's almost like like having a, a pistol yeah 
Um, if I seem enthusiastic, I am. Um, uh, but it's my thing. But so being able to uh, get one of these British made guns finally, because every time I've seen one, they're just go, you know, disappearing off the forum or off the shelf, so to speak. Uh, there's only a short barrel inside there, bet that be. And then that's slotted over top of it. So that gives it a bit more rifling. Um, I might even be inclined to put the rear out on one, which is slightly longer. Um, other than that, Scam Mark IV. Beautiful little gun. Um, and Mike, the guy that I bought it off, I've got to take my hat off to him. Um, like I say, I spoke to him on the phone. Emailed, texted each other, uh, and he's told me, if I have a problem, ring him up, he'll run, run me through um, with whatever details or problems. Uh, with that kind of um, salesmanship, with a you know a second hand gun and the fast postal delivery, the world would just be a better place if everybody behaved like that, wouldn't they? So. I'm just going to cop the safety on that because I have a feeling that I copped it a minute ago. Hopefully there's only me at the club while we're doing these reviews. Um, otherwise I'd clear them into the ground right away. Uh, like I said, it's loose leaf um, So These are the pants. Nice and springy. Um, plenty of room to go over your clothes. That loose leaf, as you've probably already seen on uh, many reviews, um, on, uh, on YouTube or uh, the Facebook uh, Ergon community um, Bumble Foot Films, Country Pursuits TV just to name a couple that have um, or, already done a review on this and I just couldn't believe the price um, and yes I've just remembered the company is called Marsh Farm Country um, like I said they've got a sale on at the moment um, they mostly sell deer onto stuff. The the uh, the uh, bike bipod shooting sticks are again deer onto um, good quality. These should have been about forty pound. I got them for twenty. The suit should have been seventy odd quid. I got it for forty five. Um, I also got some gaiters, normally around um, twenty five thirty quid, ten ninety nine. Uh, surface was brilliant and uh, like I said there's a sale and you can't beat them prices and I think if uh, I can bring to my fellow urbaners any kind of um, good price or good quality stock then that's that's the intention of uh, me doing my type of reviews and uh, um, hopefully when the guys are um, back from holiday and everything and the club's in full flow again that um, We'll be able to do um, true life gun reviews, um, talking about the to the people who own the guns, who can give you a better idea than the comics do. Um, but anyway, thanks for listening. Um, if I can just encourage you, if you've bothered to look in, then please bother to thumb. It's not to give me anything personally, but I have noticed. Uh, in all the time being on watching other people doing reviews that it's the thumbs that get this ergon and equipment out to the wider market and bring in more ergoners. Since I started doing uh, bags reviews we've had loads and loads of people coming down to have a look what our club's like. Sometimes I've been able to help them with a club nearer to home that they didn't know about. And, um, for me, it's just about helping the Ergon community and keeping Ergon in, um, not only in the public eye, but also to be seen to be, you're sticking to the law, you're doing things properly, and we're not like these oddball idiots that go off and, you know, start shooting at animals and people. I'll leave it at that before I get carried away. But, um, as I said, please thumb, uh, please leave a comment. Um, you'll notice that on my um, on my video list that uh, there are quite a few um, people and videos on there. Have, have a look at them. Field Sports Britain TV, 
uh, Country Pursuits TV, Humblefoot Films, uh, Hunters Vermin, Vermin Hunters TV. Um, I noticed Sniper Cat's back on the scene doing videos again. Always great to see uh, Emma doing the, the shooting. Um, and there are just so many people that um, I've got on my list um, all top characters. I don't have the fools on my friends list. So please have a look. Please sub. Please thumb. That's important for me to get her gunning into the wider community eye. I'll leave it with you. For what number two, the Bull Society. Thanks.